Hi, I'm Joe with E38 Survey Solutions, and in this video we'll show you how to connect the RS2 to Carlson Layout. So let's start with Reach View 3 application and connect to our RS2. I'm going to go to Settings and Bluetooth. And we want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on and it's set to Always Discoverable. Next, let's go to position streaming and make sure we're set to Bluetooth using the NEMA format. Next, we can jump into Carlson Layout. In Layout, we'll uh, get a project started here. I'll just open an old project and we'll press the Add button next to Instrument. And let's set this profile name up to be RS. To. Instrument type will be GPS. We will set this to a generic NEMA stream and generic NEMA. Let's head to comms and let's add a device. So we're searching for our RS2 right now. And let's refresh that. Keep searching. There we go. That's my reach RJD. And let's connect. And we'll allow access and we will type in our pin here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and say OK. And there we are successfully connected. We can set an antenna here. We will go to MLID and we'll choose the RS2 so that we have that offset set in. And then we can just set our rod height let's say six feet. All done and now we're connected and we press done there and I'll press the satellite button in the upper right. You can see we have a fix though it's exceeding the tolerance um, and that's because I'm, I'm up against the building so we can only only seeing satellites in the east and west not the north or south actually um, but in any case there we are connected to Carlson layout with the reach RS2. Thanks for watching.